Hello, my name is Matthew Sauce and I'm an Applications Engineer with MicroMeasurements. Today I'd like to talk to you real briefly about our Tech Tip 612, the three-wire quarter bridge. It talks about the two-wire configuration versus the three-wire and the issues that a two-wire configuration introduces into your reading. Uh, the first thing that a two-wire configuration does is that it generates initial offsets in your reading. Um, some of which are, could be so large due to the amount of lead wire length that you have that your instrumentation may not be able to uh, balance those out. The second issue is going to be error introduced into your reading from temperature fluctuation during your testing. Uh, as the temperature changes, you have uh, resistance changes within the lead wire and of course the longer the lead wire is, the more resistance you have and the more temperature change you have during your testing, the more resistance change you will have. And that resistance change in a two-wire setup actually introduces error into your readings. The three-wire quarter bridge, due to its inherent nature into the Wheatstone bridge, your instrumentation circuitry, actually uh, counteracts those um, offsets and balances and um, does not generate nearly the same amount of um, air into your reading if there's temperature fluctuation. The last thing is uh, while both the two wire and the three wire setups will desensitize your set your your reading a little bit, well they will desensitize your circuit. The two wire actually desensitizes your circuit twice as much as the three wire configuration. So uh, if you need more explanation on that feel free to have a read with our Tech Tip 612. Otherwise, feel free to contact the Applications Engineering Department or your Technical Sales Manager and we'd be glad to explain that in further detail. Thank you.